What is going on everyone? Platinum B is coming at you with yet another video. Today we're going to be discussing what does a digital currency mean for precious metals. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so interesting topic to discuss today and that topic is what does a digital currency mean for precious metals? What could it mean? What are some things that could happen? Obviously this video is more hypothetical than it is reality and anything can change and anything can cause different things to happen. So take this as you will. This is my own opinion and my own thoughts and feelings on the matter. Now, one topic that has been heavily being discussed across the board in recent days is digital currencies. Now, the US could implement a digital currency, China could implement a digital currency. Any country in the world could realistically implement a digital currency. The infrastructure is already there in a way. Um, the idea, the ability to do so is already there. It's just a matter of a government deciding that's what they want to implement within their own society. So, with that being said, what would a digital currency mean for precious metals? So people, believe it or not, like the ability to have cash, right? They like the ability to have cash because it gives them the ability to pay people on demand. Now, I know some people will say, but there's Venmo, there's Zelle, there's PayPal, there's Cash App. There's all these different avenues that you can take if you want to pay someone 20 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever, real quick. And it goes from your bank account into their bank account and so on and so forth. But one thing that people don't realize is when they create a paper trail such as that, it gets, it can at least get very confusing and very messy, so to speak, when it comes to pay taxes. Because if you pay the kid down the block 20 bucks to mow your lawn, you can just hand him a $20 bill and that's that. If you Venmo him 20 bucks to mow the lawn, it's going to show up on your bank account as money leaving your account and going into another account. And when it comes time to tax season, if depending on each different circumstance, obviously, it could end up where you have to explain yourself to, you know, a government body or whatever on what exactly is going on here when you pay someone 20 bucks every week or two to come mow your lawn. And, you know, there's regulations and technically speaking, you are supposed to, you know, pay taxes and have a business license. I mean, it's crazy. You know, it sounds crazy and it sounds ridiculous, but, you know, a lot of times, especially in recent times, we've heard of these crazy stories, right? These crazy stories of kids with lemonade stands being shut down because they don't have a business license, which is ridiculous. But if... But chances are, if you have a little kid who is in your neighborhood and he set up a lemonade stand and he's selling lemonade and making money, if people are paying him in cash, it's not really going to be affected very much. If people are constantly sending him payments through Venmo, he's probably going to have to legitimize himself if he wants to continue doing that because he's going to need a bank account, he's going to need you know all this stuff, and he's only like, what, 12 years old or something? It sounds ridiculous, but... It is something that could realistically cause a lot of problems for people. There are online marketplaces that are local marketplaces, such as, you know, Facebook Marketplace, you know, Craigslist, things of that nature, where people like to buy and sell stuff and they like to just pay in cash because they can just do that very easily and they don't have to worry about any realistic paper trail. Now, this sounds a bit like people are trying to avoid paying taxes and avoid this and that and the other, and it's not necessarily so much that as it is they're just trying to make things easier, right? If you have to claim and explain yourself as to why you bought a $40 nightstand on Craigslist to the government and they want their share of taxes from both you and the seller or whatever, it just gets ridiculous and out of hand quick. So people like to have cash, right? They also like to have cash in case of, you know, an emergency or something. They like to have a little bit of cash in their safe at home or, or the shoebox in their closet or wherever they keep 
that extra set of cash for an emergency circumstances. Leaving it in the bank is really kind of, I mean, you can do that, but a lot of people like to have that physical, tangible cash in their hands, knowing that if they ever get into a bind, you know, no one's going to take that unless someone literally breaks down their door. So I think digital currencies can potentially help precious metals as a whole because it gives people who are used to having a physical form of ability to pay someone the ability to have their money in a physical form once actual physical fiat currency disappears. Now, we know physical fiat currency loses its value year in and year out, and the same would happen with digital currency, uh, theoretically. But... A lot of people don't think that, you know, people really look at cash the same way they did, used to. But believe it or not, there's still a lot of people out there who like having cash on hand just for whatever reason they personally deem fit. So precious metals will benefit from having a digital currency. And I think they'll benefit more than people give them credit for. And I think that includes all precious metals across the board. Because precious metals are one of those assets that are the most liquid asset you can really have, right? You can have stocks, you can have fiat dollars in the bank, and you will be able to get your money out of those fairly quickly. But precious metals are are much more, how do you say, I, well, I, I personally think they are more liquid in the fact that they have always had value, they will continue to have value, and it's something that you can really hold on to and not really worry about as much, right? A lot of people more and more every day are realizing that fiat dollars lose their value. So the longer you hold on to that paper, the less value it's going to actually have. With stocks, you are risking a little bit more than you would with precious metals in that you are banking on a company to be around forever. Most companies are never really around forever. Some companies have lasted longer than most of our lives, like Walmart, like um, I'm not even sure what other companies come off the top of my head. But there have been companies that have have 100-year histories and things like that. But there's also companies that are fairly newer and even within the past 20 or 30 years that could be gone in the next 20 or 30 years. And so with that being said, stock market investing is much more to make money than it is to just hold on to your money. Whereas precious metals have had value since the dawn of time, they will continue to have value, and their value continues to go up year in and year out, and that has been proven throughout history, right? So it's definitely something interesting. Digital currency could change the game entirely for stacking precious metals. I think it will only help precious metals. However, I am unsure about my thoughts and opinions on digital currency as a whole being switched out for fiat currency. I don't really think it'll affect me one way or another because I bank more on this stuff than I do any government dollar because all government dollars have been inflating year in and year out for quite some time now and I don't think that's going to ever really end. So whether I have a physical fiat dollar or a digital fiat dollar, It really is all the same to me, and it really doesn't sway me one way or another. I'm going to continue stacking, and I definitely suggest you continue stacking as well. Now, in closing, one thing I want to mention is I don't think digital currency, the switch to digital currency, is going to just inflate the price of precious metals way over the top. I don't see that happening, so to speak. I think it will take some time and adjustment and things of that nature. However, if you are stacking right now, I personally think if it were to ever actually occur, it will only help you in the long haul. So definitely some interesting stuff to think about and take note of. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Do you like the idea of digital currency? Do you not like the idea? Do you think it will help precious metals? Are you indifferent towards it? Let me know all that down in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit that like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And with all that being said, guys, until next time, we will see ya.